Hopefully by now you know that Tesla build their cars to be the safest on the road. And in fact, Tesla reports that the NHTSA shows the top five safest performing cars are all Teslas, with the Model 3 being the absolute safest. But what about beyond their physical design and their build? What about the software features and the tech inside the car that also helps to make Teslas the safest on the road? Let's start by talking about what the car does when autopilot or cruise control is not engaged. So first up is the Ford Collision Warning System. Now, this is a warning that has actually triggered for us several times and been really, really useful. So because of the car's sensors, it can often predict things going wrong often before we notice. So for example, cars slowing down quicker than we might realize, or even on occasion, if we've taken our eyes off the road, it does a really good job of warning you as soon as it notices any potential danger. And I remember Paige telling me she was grabbing something out of the glove box when she was in like a bit of traffic moving at a slow speed and the car in front suddenly came to a stop, the warning system came on right away, which she found really impressive because it was actually useful. And in fairness, Paige reckons she would have been able to stop in time and she would have noticed the car, but on this occasion, it still made her feel safer that the car had actually warned her. The Model 3 also has a side collision warning. So for example, if someone is moving into your lane without seeing you, again, this is just a nice to know that it's there, even though it's never actually gone off for us personally. It also has obstacle awareness, which will automatically reduce the acceleration of the car when an obstacle is detected in front. So basically the car can detect things beyond just other cars and pedestrians, a useful feature. Next up is the emergency braking. Now, this is a standard safety feature that you will find in most new cars. But again, because of Tesla's sensors, it gives them an advantage of making these systems work a lot better than competitors. A lot of other car brands will advertise these same safety features that we are talking about, but not many cars actually have 12 ultrasonic sensors and eight cameras with a 360 field constantly checking what's going on, right? So remember, you know, Tesla is often considered more of a software company than a car company. So they pride themselves on building the best safety features into these cars from the ground up using hardware combined with their software. So yes, automatic emergency braking, it can detect vehicles and pedestrians or other objects in front of you and apply the brakes to reduce impact. But the other interesting note here is, and I can't confirm this, but there's a lot of hints to it online, is that inside the cabin, the Tesla software does a great job of working out just how active the driver is. So for example, if their hands are on the wheel or not, and potentially even making use of the inbuilt camera above that rear view mirror to check for driver attentiveness, which by the way, if you're concerned initially about privacy, Tesla do state that this internal camera does not have any remote access by them, and it's all done inside the car, it does not go to Tesla. So similar to what Apple does with the iPhone and their privacy features. Next is the blind spot warning system. Now the Model 3 does not have a blind spot indicator in the mirror itself, but the car will warn you if you go to indicate or move and someone else is in your blind spot. So it's good to get into the habit of checking that big display for any surrounding cars before you do indicate. Lastly is the lane departure warning. Now. This feature has scared the crap out of us a few times while we've been driving on the highway. But again, a useful feature to have because if you do start to drift from your lane, the car will warn you by screaming some loud noises at you. And if it detects that there's a potential collision, it will actually correct the car automatically whilst also screaming loud noises at you. You can actually opt in the settings to turn off that auto corrective steering. I know a lot of people would be freaked out by that, but it is designed to help you. And the few times that this feature um, has actually gone off for us, uh, we've been on the highway, as I said, but there's been like a barrier on the left-hand side. And so the car detects that that would be a collision and the steering has actually pulled us back into the lane, which is a little bit freaky, but it's actually a useful feature, right? If something truly was going wrong, 
um, I feel like this is good to have on. Now, let's talk about what the car does when autopilot is engaged. So thanks to the millions of Teslas being driven globally, autopilot is constantly analyzing real world scenarios and situations and learning and updating. So the safety features continue to get better with every software update. And interestingly enough, most of the features I mentioned before actually came about with software updates. So the Model 3 did not originally ship with all of these safety features we're talking about. They came through software updates. Now the main difference when autopilot is engaged is that the car has more control. So for example, we spoke about forward collision warning before. Well, thanks to rear cameras and rear sensors, it, there's also instances where the Tesla has been known to avoid a rear collision by instantly accelerating thanks to that battery power. What's also been shown online through various YouTube channels like Tesla Cam are cars um, on autopilot making insane judgment calls that humans really would not be possible of making because the onboard computer is constantly analyzing the surrounding environment and for example, like a Model 3 here can be seen swerving at high speeds to avoid what would have been a pretty nasty accident. Autopilot is also a lot more sensitive to pedestrians and cyclists and even wildlife. It often notices danger before we even spot it ourselves. Um, so even though it can be oversensitive at times, especially like if a car turns in front of you, but at a safe distance, the result is the car applying the brakes quite heavily. So just something to keep in mind, Tesla does claim that with autopilot engaged, your car has a 10 times lower chance of having an accident than an average car. I'm gonna make a video in the coming weeks of what autopilot doesn't do, just so you are aware of its limitations. Also, just in summary of this video, I'm not an expert in safety, I'm just sharing my experience. So please remember that safety on the road and in vehicles is best left to the experts when talking about these sort of features. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, I will catch you in the next one. See ya.